Hey guys, in this video today, what I'd like to do is talk about this grow bed behind me. It's a new grow bed. I've just installed it. You may have seen it in, in another previous video, how I did that. What happened is it filled up with really thick algal slime because I ran it for a month without painting the sides and without topping up the gravel. So what I'd like to do is show you how I fixed that algal problem so that you don't have the same problem in your system at home. I just want to show you this mess I've got behind me for a grow bed. Now, in some of my earlier training, you would have seen that this particular grow bed was uh, damaged. I left it exposed without painting it for probably three years. After three years, that's what happens. After three years of unpainted grow beds, the tank will split at some point. Now, that's why I always encourage you to even spray paint your tanks. Um, just spray paint it or use whatever house paint you've got left over. I always use green or brown, doesn't matter. But just from an aesthetic point of view, but it also stop algae growing. Now, look at all the algae behind me here. I just wanted to show you this. Now, I haven't actually got this level yet. I need to level the tank because it's actually dipping down into the, the foundation is dipping down as well into the soil, into the, soil, into the ground. Now I did bang it in, but I didn't cement it in or anything like that. So, if you can see behind me, there's a lot of algae growing. Now I'll just show you a bit of a close up here. There's a lot of duckweed in here as well, which is good. But get a load of this algae. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now the fish will eat that if I was to throw that into my pond, but look at it. Huge, big, filamous algae. Now, algae in itself is not a big problem. It looks unsightly. It is a bit horrible, it's slimy. But um, look, it's great fertilizer for anything on the ground. So I'm just gonna throw that straight into my plants. I'm gonna get all that out, because what I need to do is actually add some extra gravel, additional gravel into the bed. Now, I never got around to it. This is a bed that I'm, I've left it sitting here for a month. And normally I don't do that, but I've been pretty distracted. So. There's the algae, <laughs> just one handful. I must have about 50 handfuls here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull all the algae out, I'm gonna add additional gravel in, and then I'll finish off uh, and paint the tank that I've just put in here. So don't leave your algae, don't let it grow by itself, or you're gonna get this same problem. Now I could just throw gravel straight on top, but that's not gonna solve the algae issue. It's just gonna grow inside my grow bed, and I don't want that. But painting the tanks on the outside will solve this algae issue. So. That's also the next step. Okay, so as you can see, I've been really busy here. I've removed all the um, algae out. I've then just added all the, couple of buckets of gravel, four I think, and now I've started to replant it as well. So now the algae cannot grow. It's, it's not able to grow in there. It's a dry zone of five centimeters and yeah, it's not possible for the algae to grow. So we stopped the algae. We've got rid of it. We fed it to the fish. The fish loved it but I don't love it in my grow bed, so there's no more algae in there. And all I have to do now is just to spray paint the sides and it's, it's complete. Now, since I have gone ahead and started to plant this out before I spray painted the tank, which is a, a little technical mistake there, um, ideally you want to um, spray paint it first after you put the gravel in. In any case, I've got the, I started putting plants in there and I've gone, oh, I need to spray paint. So if you're in that situation, you just get a piece of cardboard and then you use that to stop any overspray. And then you just spray left to right, and then right to left, just in slow movements with the spray paint um, so that you cover, you cover everything. But make sure you get a, a large piece of cardboard and that way you won't get any issues. Um, you won't get any chemical into your aquaponics because that couldn't be disastrous for your bacteria, for your fish and for your plants. Remember, we've got to eat this stuff. Look, when you do spray paint, just build up that layer with your spray paint can. So by, by building up the layer of paint, you're minimizing the amount of light and you're minimizing the risk of the UV light getting in and cracking these tanks again. So by, by painting it, you're gonna get another five years out of it. And um, yeah, you'll have, have a great grow bed.